Hello, folks. Reverend Crystal Cox, Goddess Church, Port Townsend. Got me a new drum. So that's the new drum. And it's mahogany, one whole piece. Cool, huh? Okay, drumming and toning another day. Okay, so this is kind of an introductory video on Cryon. K-R-Y-O-N. Um, I first read the channeled Cryon book. 25, 30 years ago, book one. Um, I did what it said in the book. <coughs> I asked for implants to be removed. I, um, the book was about this thin. It was just so cool. Okay. Um, then um, it was introduced to me by my then girlfriend's friend. He also introduced me to Bringers of the Dawn, Book of Enoch. Um, um, and, and Cryon, <coughs> there's a few other things, but the, those were the most profound. I followed Bar Barbara Marciniak for many years after that. Never was a groupie, never like, you know, went to all the channels and followed everybody and listened. I always discern, always my own thing. So Cryon is Cryon of Magnetic Service. Came here to switch the grids or whatever. Okay. So Christ consciousness would be like Jesus' incarnation would be part of Christ consciousness consciousness. Part of a kind of a conglomerate of beings on the other side. So the, the name Cryon is kind of like that. It, it's a bunch of beings. It's a, it's a consciousness. Um, I'm not sure how else to explain it. But I really liked, I loved the information in the first book. And the second book, just amazing. It was a beautiful purple book. Now, um, online, I think it's cryon.com, there is channels 25 years worth, or 20 or something, uh, years worth of channels that you can get audios on and um, <clears throat> and of course I have pretty much every book I mean I stopped a few years ago but I haven't read every word but anyway um, book two was awesome and it fell apart and so what ended up happening with that is they um, ended up giving the book twos to um, prison so they're like oh there's a reason for that blah 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 so I was in Hawaii. I worked forestry during the regular year, and then the winters I get, I'd have off and I'd have get unemployment or whatever. And my girlfriend loved to go to Hawaii, and so we went to Hawaii and we camped um, for a couple months. And um, sometimes we camped in a car, but mostly a tent, or we'd just go and uh, lay on some golf course in the middle of the night, or um, just you know wild crazy stuff that I don't think I would do now. But um, but you know she she was. Uh, quite a bit older than me, and um, it was just quite an adventure for me. And so we were on the Big Island of Hawaii. This was, like I said, about 25 years ago, so the vents hadn't opened. Now, I was in Kona about two years ago. I couldn't hardly breathe. The sulfur was so bad from the vents opening because the volcano's active, right? So I'll tell you about things I saw with the volcano and stuff and how cool that is. But the first time I went there, I seen the lava, I seen so many neat things. Actually, quite a few times. We, we kind of did it several times. But later, like say 10 years later, whatever, more vents opened. So there was more sulfur, more, they call it VOG, volcano fog on the island. And so it's way different now. Um, but back then, um, okay, so I took book two. And um, no matter what beautiful spot I've been in the world, I've been to the Yucatan, I've been to the Mayan ruins, I've been to some beautiful places. Books. I'm still will have my head in a book. I'll still be writing, uh, yar who yar, right? Yar who yar. And so my book had ended, and I was like, oh. And my girlfriend wasn't into that that sort of stuff. But um, we we walked down this one kind of alleyway in this little mall back in whatever, and there was this bulletin board, and and she goes, is this is this what you're interested in or whatever? And I'm like, um, I look at it, and it was a flyer for a cryon channeling. And it was like, I think it was around 1995 or something, um, the year. <laughs> Not the price of the channel. 
And um, I'm like, oh yeah, so cool. And it was in Camuela, <coughs> which is between like Spencer Park and Waimea, um, you know, about halfway up. Uh, and we didn't have a vehicle. So, um, and we were camped at Spencer Park. So she, she hitchhiked with me up to the channeling and then just left me there. She hitchhiked back and did whatever. And then, um, I mean, just so, so ragmatag now, right? To think about, okay, well, how am I going to get back? So, um, it's kind of my job to find my way back, a ride back among the cryon people, right? So, um, um, met some really cool people. I met this one gal there um, that had been abducted, and I have met several, and we'll talk about that in different videos. But she was drugged there because her girlfriend, um, who she was on again, off again, whatever. So um, just these two um, Hawaiian lesbians was pretty cool. One was I think straight, sort of. You know how that goes. Anyway, um, we got to talking, and um, she ended up giving me a ride back down to the camp after the channel. But also then we went and stayed the night at her house. And she lives in, lived, this is 20, you know, a zillion years ago, in Hilo. You know, if you're familiar with the area, the town volcano, back in the woods there, right off the grid. Oh my God, right? I'd never seen anything like it. Just this lush little piece of land and hammocks outside and, the, oh my God, the smell of um, night jasmine. Oh my God, right? And then um, there was a whole bunch of parcels and little interpersonal wars and weird things. But the land was so lush. And um, we slept upstairs, and, and I went. I remember going up this ladder, and I this is for my first time seeing cane spiders. You know, it was almost like the spider could crawl the ladder. And um, anyway, so I uh, I uh, I gave her a book. We stayed the night. We visited, and that was it. Never saw her again. And um, anyway, fast forward, right? We've got pff, probably 20 more cryon books and millions of channels and cryon. That through Lee Carroll has spoke at the United Nations and there's just tons of stuff over the last three decades. But I was following it in the beginning. Again, not as a group. We didn't go to everyone, but I did go to two channels. That was one. And then this book, book three, came out and that channel, I was friends with someone back then um, that I'm not friends with now. Uh, she was into cryon too. And so I wrote, I don't have that now, but I wrote every word he said, the whole channel. And so, um, and plus, you know, Mandela Effect, Switching Realities, books change. Like, Bringers of the Dawn by Barbara Marciniak has changed so many times on me. So I don't even know what this is going to say exactly. But I do know they told us that everyone in the room was priests and priestesses from Lemuria. And um, so I'm going to read you that channel and an introduction to Cryon. And we'll be talking more about Cryon. There's so many channels online now of his stuff that I uh, wouldn't even know where to begin. But this is where I'm going to begin. <laughs> I didn't know where it was going to be. Okay. All right. God is blessed, eh? My Canadian, eh? God is bless you, eh? Eh? God is bless. Oh, yes. Go to the, talk to the moose. Oh, no, that's my Indian Irish accent. <laughs> Don't let him in on your accents. Alrighty then. I'm going to climb up here. <laughs> okay. <coughs> the Big Island of Hawaii Cryon Seminar, they called it. <coughs> Becoming a New Age Human, channeled in Camuela, K-A-M-U-E-L-A, -E otherwise known as Waimea. Okay. So, Becoming a New Age Human, live channel, Hawaii, January 1995. This channel has been edited to clarify. Okay. Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. I love you, Cryon. Kisses. Okay, never fear, my partner, that I would not be here when called. It is the current theme of the cryon, each time we meet with you, to tell you who are assembled in this room, that the cryon never speaks to groups of humans, for the cryon speaks to the individual hearts of each one of you. So it is this night that the cryon comes before you and says, well, later it was probably just cryon, not the cryon, but you are dearly loved. You are dearly loved. And that became the motto of every book and everything. And when my older friends, you know, when my girlfriend and her people would make fun of me, they'd be like, you are loved. But it's been decades, and you know what? I am loved. And you are loved. Okay. And it is the intent of spirit this night to sit before you and wash your feet. For you are indeed the exalted ones. 
Before I say more about this, let me tell you what is taking place in this room right now. For as you get used to my partner's voice, understand, dear ones, that the translation and the thought groups coming to you now speak with the same voice as came from the voice that instructed Moses. It is the same voice that exalted the arm of Abraham with his dagger, ready to plunge into the chest of Isaac. It is a spirit that is translated to you this night, for you sit here listening and reading by appointment. It is no accident that you individually hear or read these words at this time, for we are filling this energy portal with love. We are inviting in at this time the entourage which accompanies me to fill this place with a cone of love, so that during the words spoken tonight, or read at this time, will be transmitted via the third language, which speaks to your third eye, regardless if you hear any of the English words. There will be power and healing and love transmitted this night to those who are here. And so it is with all these groups that there are three kinds of people here, Humans, each one, we speak to you now, for there is a group of you which comes enlightened and ready for a great soaring of energy in your life. You are the ones who will walk away from this meeting healed, and you will receive this through your own power, but you will hear the truth this night, and energy for healing will be transmitted to you. You are the ones who will walk away and vibrate for three days and have sleepless nights. For there will be instant changes within your spirit. And I did vibrate high for several nights and several years and several decades, but especially several nights. You are greatly honored, for you are the ones who are truly prepared and ready to hear these words. And we honor you greatly. And if you're new to all of this stuff, you will be getting this energy tonight or today or whenever it is you're hearing these words. And you may have this vibration going through you. There is another group of you that is here at the beginning of your actual path. That sweet spot that Spirit talks about that will change your lives forever. But you are here to know more about it in anticipation of what is to come. And you are honored. For it is appropriate since you are here by appointment. And when we say you are here by appointment, we mean that you physically desired with intent to sit in the chair that you are in. The third group are the ones who came here because they had to. Perhaps they are here by obligation to a friend, or they're with a partner who did not wish to leave them for the evening. Perhaps they were only curious. And we say to you, dear ones, you are loved every bit as much as any human being on the planet, and there is no judgment for your consciousness this night, or for your reasons of being here, or for your intent. If you will be open and receptive this night, you will receive information. It is not necessary to believe any of it, but let the seeds fall within your mind, for some day it will serve you. We guarantee it. Know that none of what happens this night will harm you. You know, this was the beginning of my path. And the Harmonic Convergent, 1986, and then meeting this man, my girlfriend's friend, um, that introduced me to these these books, um, it was everything. Because I I had spoke to God, I had spoke to my spirit guides, I had psychic stuff when I was a kid. I studied the Bible, Psalms, Matthews, whatever I could get that was positive and high, and self-help books. I didn't have any idea that Seth books existed, or, you know, I wasn't introduced, like, those types of things I didn't necessarily have. But, um, Cryon was the beginning for me, and, um, and the Pleiadians through, um, Barbara Marcinia. And uh, my heart's just swelling. I just, um, we've made it. You know, it's all happened now. And we're seeing the cleanup on Earth. So, um, yeah. Cryon wishes to tell all of those humans sitting here this night that we know your name. We know your earthly name and we know your angelic name. We know why you are here. We know of your path. And that is the reason we honor you so greatly each single one. We see you and know who you are as you sit in the chair. As you sit in there, wherever you're sitting, you watching this video, we see you. The 
cryon entourage is with you now, exalting you, healing you, loving you. We see you and know who you are as you sit in the chair. See us clearly. For those of you who have sight can see the aura of my partner change this night. That alone will prove that spirit speaks to you through love from the great central sun. Changes will abound in this clear energy through translation this night. The information of Cryon is the information that changes human hearts and souls. It is not information that will change the doctrine of any organization. It will not change where you go to worship. It will not change the love you have for any ascended master. It is simply information about the new age and the gifts of the new age. Some of you are already receiving the love and feeling it as it inflows into you right now. Oh, dear ones, we know who you are. We know of your trials, we know of your thoughts, and this is why we honor you so. You are the ones who have chosen the hard path, warriors of light, each one of you, to be born in biology on this planet in order to raise the vibration. It's a whole motto of my church, raise the vibration of Mother Earth and her people. Raise the consciousness of Mother Earth and her people and her animals and her waterways and her plants. Over and over you have chosen to go through this, for even Cryon cannot say he has done that. I see your colors, each one, and I know where you've been, for the badge of honor shows through clearly even as you sit in your chairs. The past lives, are you aware of your karmic group, dear ones, this night? It may amaze and surprise you, for here you sit pretending not to know each other. Ah, for in this very place, so many years ago, that is difficult to count, you were part of the great continent of Lemuria, and each one of you in this enlightened state, in this new age of this planet, were shamans and holy men and priests and priestesses. And this was told directly to me from Cryon, looking right at me through Lee Carroll in 1995. And I knew it to be true. And so this is your karma. As a group, it brings you back together now. Perhaps not for long, for you will go your own way in this new energy. We thought you might be interested in knowing who you are. For all of you coming together this night have had a lineage which is great on this planet. It is no accident that the group comes together now to hear the admonitions of spirit. And it is no accident that you're listening to this, whether it's right after I have uploaded it or 10, 20 years from now. I have videos on YouTube over 10 years old. Whenever you're seeing this, you know you're part of this group. While through the fear of enlightenment, it did not serve some of you well when you were here in Lemuria. For you faced termination shortly after your enlightenment, and the fear of that happening again is in your face, so to speak. It is a real fear indeed to walk through this night. It is a seed fear for the persecution you received seemingly at the hands of spirit itself. As this, your civilization was terminated so many years ago. So we welcome you back, and we honor your very presence. For those of you who are in this place you call Hawaii, we tell you this, not to generate fear in any one human soul, but in love, that the earth is under construction here. When, the, when Cryon works in order to alter your magnetic grids, you can be certain that the earth will change as well. And we will speak of this later, even in this channel. The earth is part of the whole, and you are part of the whole, and you must both change to facilitate your own consciousness. The earth is not dead. It is not a, rock and, a rocky barren thing. It has essence as well and must change with you. So it is in an area such as this that we tell you that it will not be a very long time before there are rumblings and movings of the earth here. We say to you, each and every one of you, do not fear this. And it did happen just that way. For as long as you are walking in that sweet spot, which is your path, you will be at the right place at the right time. And um, I went back there um, years ago. Okay, so 
This is in 1995. And so after uh, I broke up with the gal that I'd win every year, I hadn't went for a long, long time. And I was with someone for a long-term relationship, I don't know, probably over 12, 14 years. And I was done. And I was doing my investigative blogging, and the whole world was at me. And uh, I had a vision of a bag, and it was a bag I had, this Jeep bag, this orange and whatever bag, to get that bag and to get to Kona. And um, I told I hadn't left my ex yet. I just had a real estate sale, and so I did. She didn't go with me. She didn't come over. Uh, but anyway, this is not a relationship video. <laughs> so I went there. Um, I stayed in a hotel. I decided to stay, move there. I um, had just moved in, rented a room, um, and uh, then I was done. I left. I flew back to Montana. I th I thought I'd stay. Um, I didn't have a vehicle, and so it just was right just in, in Kona. And um, there was some VOG, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, so then, um, like, uh, I didn't get to Spencer Beach again or any of that. Um, oh, gosh, I think uh, this, I got this at the right outside of Spencer Beach after a storm, my first trip to Hawaii. I've never, I didn't know what a big deal, I mean, I never found anything like it. I love you! Okay, um, <laughs> so then, about three years ago, I've been living in a vehicle in Port Townsend for, for many years. All of a sudden, I was in this cafe thinking about how to get warm. This is not related. I mean, the warmth, it wasn't the warmth part, but I was just sitting there and I just decided that I need to go to Hawaii. I was going to go to Hawaii and start a life there and then sin for my partner. I was in a long distance relationship and um, I felt good about it. It was a little bit, um, I questioned later why. So, oh my goodness, right? So I uh, got a ride to the airport. I flew over there. I rented a car. I decided, hey, I was living in a car here, I could live in a car there, right? So I did. Uh, the hardships that I endured was phenomenal. I I died. I I drove around in the middle of the night. I, I felt myself going in and out of portals. I felt like I died. I finally made it back to Spencer Beach. It was like such a different reality and love, you know, lava rock everywhere and just so um, harsh and so much uh, vog and sulfur and my nose burned and... Um, the water was different. Everything was a totally different reality. And it was like, and I had a death. Like I had a death and then a death and then a death. And I was only there for like five days. And then I petitioned friends to help me to fly out of there. But it was so intense. And so it's like the island kept calling me back. So I've been to Oahu a couple times. And I stayed in Oahu once for a month. Then I stayed in Kauai um, for a couple months by myself. And then I uh, just moved around from hotel. And I never knew because I had this church that was paying for it. And it, I moved all the time. Didn't have a vehicle. It's kind of just wherever spirit put me. But the big island, I kind of kept being called back for this other, like, death and rebirth and death and rebirth. And, um, and um, I'm just kind of reminded of the connection uh, with all of this now in Lemuria and stuff. And so, um, anyway, um, so, okay. So the earth is in construction here. So we'll leave it at that. And I'm going to um, shut this off and then uh, stay tuned for part two. In the description of this video, there will be a playlist for all of them. I will eventually read some more. I'm planning on just reading this channel for now. Um, anyway, that, that's kind of all I got. <laughs> that's all she's got? Crystal says Crystal never. I love you.